the next chat. <coughs> So then, uh, hello everyone. Uh, here is uh, the home region of Japanese nonprofit organization, CO2 SOS. Can you see a building uh, with a dome on the roof at seaside? So that is uh, Butter Mukap of Real Science Museum in Japan, Saipir. I have many remote classrooms for children at Saipir about whales and dolphins, and space exploration and astronomy, us and life evolution, and Jews their world, and climate change. Uh, we are sending out the climate change portal uh, where uh, people can learn about science basis of climate change for S -E -L -E -S -D, Education for Sustainable Development. So, So uh, this is Goga, the famous painting. Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? Um, this is the same approach with climate change research. So I designed this portal uh, the same way. First floor uh, is learning from past and present. Second floor is future prediction and the impact. And uh, third floor is action for the future sustainable development. And there are many graphs Graphs. A uh, graph is difficult for children, and two-dimensional graph doesn't need uh, 3D space. Uh, so it is better to teach them in real classroom and uh, uh, teacher. But uh, there is a virtual space is have an advantage that graphs can be arranged in unlimited 3D space to find each relation easily. And uh, let's start learning um, from past. This is a presenter. So <clears throat> this is global advantage. Yeah. Can you see a red arrow? Pretty focus on. And this is global advantage temperature, uh, average temperature in the past uh, 170 years. Uh, here, here, here is a hiatus. A few years ago, uh, someone said uh, uh, global warming is a fake. Climate will go into glacial period. Uh, in accordance, in, in corresponding with uh, decrease of solar activity. Solar activity is now decreasing. But now uh, we can see a 
temperature rising is continue. And uh, hiatus is one of uh, temporal, temporal stagnations. Like this. So uh, next graph. is uh, this is a northern hemisphere average temperature in the past 2000 years and colorful lines are past temperature reconstruction using proxy data like three rings ice core coral reef our particles in the lake sediment. We can see warm period here in, in the Middle Age about uh, 1,000 years ago and the cool period in the Little Ice Age about several hundred years ago. But after uh, industrial revolution, black line is observation data and temperature is increasing so steeply. The steepness is very problem. So please uh, look uh, above these uh, graphs uh, here and here. Uh, these are uh, solar activity. Until uh, 1950, so temperature Temperature change looks like corresponding with solar activity. So high activity and high temperature and low activity is a cool period. And uh, increasing uh, solar activity corresponding uh, uh, temperature rise. But uh, uh, last 50 years, please see the last 50 years, the temperature is rising in spite of decreasing uh, of solar activity. So uh, warming um, looks uh, certainly enough. And then uh, warming is not always bad things. But uh, there is uh, concerning data. Please look at this graph. So uh, this is the number of uh, uh, natural disasters in the past 39 years. Red color, can you see? So, and Kara uh, is a earthquake and volcano number, and green Kara and blue Kara and the yellow. Uh, uh, weather related disasters, so uh, green is uh, flooding, and blue is. Uh, uh, is a, uh, blue is a storm, severe storm, and yellow is uh, extreme high temperature. These weather-related disasters are apparently increasing. Of course, a number of disasters will uh, partly increasing in corresponding with expansion of human living area. And but uh, uh, so yes, so this is so uh, Mewhen Reassurance Company's uh, data. Very good data. 
so uh, start so uh, I'm sorry so again a number of disasters will partly increase in corresponding with expansion of human living area but red color uh, number of earthquake and volcano increase a little in comparison with the related uh, disasters including is apparently from this graph world insurance companies realize that they need to determine their insurance ratio in co considering with climate change. Is, is there a relationship between meteorological event and hydrological event? Mm -hmm. So, a direct uh, proof of relation is difficult. So, uh, insurance and company proof by data. So, and so uh, uh, for for me, uh, she sixty four uh, years old Japanese. Uh, global warming is apparently because. Past comfortable spring and autumn were, were gone from present Japan, and the typhoon passed uh, shifting east. So uh, that is a uh, uh, please look next graph. So, uh, this chart is a recent change of uh, forest fire uh, from uh, two, 2000, uh, 2003 to 2014, 2014, only 11 years comparison. In years comparison, so upper uh, chart is so uh, forest fire loss, and the lower is uh, uh, the severe forest fire loss. So you know, California recent fire. Well, so and in Australia, so I'll move to left. So increasing is a little uh, at the, at the east coast. So I think more recent long dry season in. Australia is interseasonal, uh, interseasonal, interseasonal change or decay change in variation due to the natural variation. And yes, so you carry tree can easily burn. And so, next corner is a uh, huge level in the long history of the Earth. First, uh, first graph is so uh, 800,000 glacial interglacial cycle. Black line is recent uh, observation data. So pr prominent high. So bro uh, and the blue line above the graph. Can you see? 
very high. Blue line above graph is extent of future CO2 level in corresponding with CO2 emission scenarios. So like, so uh, 100 years prediction and uh, each of each scenario, the extension is uh, blue, blue line. So, uh, Gracious cycle is uh, due to uh, due to change of Earth orbit parameters, mainly uh, forty thousand years and one hundred thousand years. So, it is said that four hundred thousand years ago. Yeah, uh, is resemble with current days. The uh, warm period uh, is long enough, so and we st only start only a warm period, and so don't worry about coming glacial period uh, soon, or at least 1,000 years, 1,000 years, uh, glacial period don't come. So, next graph. Next is uh, three point million years human ancestors history. So uh, human ancestor experienced uh, current temperature here, but but future prediction blue line is extraordinary high in, in the, this history. So, in any way, so blue, blue lines is very high and um, unmanaged uh, future CO, CO2 level can be the same order uh, of Cretaceous age 100 million years ago dinosaurs were walking and green house us with a polar ice sheet and 250 meter sea level rise and one third of land area was sunk. So uh, we can uh, experience uh, such a world uh, by a teleport using this panel. But, but today uh, we'll pass the answer. So please visit later. So prehistoric region is very good uh, science region. They reconstruct uh, not only dinosaur but also vegetation. Well, so Uh, next is uh, learning from present Earth. We can um, visit various vulnerable natures for climate change. So, 
this is a teleporter to the field study center at Bones. And you can touch the then so explanation and uh, uh, teleport URL uh, shown in nearby chat. And, and field study center at Bones uh, made by National uh, Institute of Education, Singapore. So there are uh, uh, coral bleach simulator and mangrove ecosystem and uh, earthquake simulator or other many uh, exhibit. So please be uh, later. So this uh, region is constructed based on uh, six learning uh, curricular design framework. So learning by being, so uh, and learning by collaborating and exploring and building and championing. And uh, uh, expressing presentation um, by presentation, leverage uh, uh, social media. So uh, this is a very, very similar idea of our uh, teacher training tower. And So also please visit uh, field study center later. And the, this panel is a teleporter to the coastal, coastal habitat uh, created by Delia Lake. So uh, uh, drifting uh, polar bear and uh, kelp forest and mangrove forest and coral reef all are uh, vulnerable um, for climate change. But we'll uh, also pass today. And here. present Earth observation and modern. So today I'll show you a new exhibit of present Earth from space. Uh, let's teleport. So I, I'll type in nearby chat. So please click this URL. Please teleport.
so can she around? It takes uh, time to read the textures. Can you see? And you need to set auto play, media play. So uh, here is uh, here is uh, three thousand fifty uh, three five hundred sky of Abyss Observatory. Uh, these wait wait a moment. Uh, Uh, wait a moment. Uh, okay. So these boxes uh, are a uh, simulator of JAMSTEC, Japan Agency of Marine and Science Technology in Yokohama Institute, where I am work working. Then, so Come here, please. So, if you can uh, put focus on uh, us behind me. So, uh, we can see present us by satellite observation directly. But simulation using Institute data shows us different us which cannot be observed, observed by directly. But so first us is a satellite data which is most similar with a true color from space. So resolution becomes fourfold than before. So uh, please look opposite side of the is us. And there are uh, night side. Uh, it is uh, winter now, so no small region. is under polar night. Can, can you see North Polar region using uh, camera and uh, uh, alt key and ma mouse uh, click, uh, left click. Can you see uh, and look down from North Pole? So, uh, North Pole region is under polar night. And please look opposite side, downside, is uh, Arctic region. So, Arctic uh, continent is under midnight sun. So, pre so to teach seasonal variation of vegetation and, and phytoplankton, uh, it is needed to teach polar night and midnight sun. Then, so move to second hours. Please look at behind them. Uh, also look behind me. Uh, this uh, also display is ocean current and sea surface temperature. So ocean current it can't be observed by satellite sensors uh, directly. So this is uh, simulation data calculated by the Earth simulator. So this uh, 
current pattern is resemble uh, with uh, atmospheric current of Jupiter. Can you see Jupiter beneath the, uh, the Earth? So you, you can find uh, current pattern is resemble. And next, South Earth. Can you see uh, green earth behind me? This is this use uh, media shared media, so you need to auto print the uh, auto media place. <laughs> so. Um, this uh, also shows vegetation and uh, phyto phy phytoplankton, a 10 years seasonal change. Green colors uh, means chlorophyll 2 observed by satellite sensors. So please look down from North Pole using so alt key and mouse click. So in summer, very large area of Northern Hemisphere becomes green and due to midnight sun and long daylight. And in winter, it becomes white and due to polar night and short daylight. So change of green and white is so dramatically. So please remember. And so uh, come on and please go to opposite side of this floor. Come, please. Oh, can, can you see? This is behind me. So it, it, this uh, also is also shared media. Okay, maybe you you see the uh, uh, sun. So this uh, this shows various us using numerical model, just five of NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. So and that that is. Uh, console and select uh, data so you can uh, see various us. So uh, don't touch from now. I I operate this uh, console now. Don't touch. So now I choose. She was carbon dioxide. So, uh, can you can you see carbon dioxide distribution of seasonal change? So, this 
this is a short construction in one year. So now is uh, January, February. So you can see China. So please use uh, move uh, use your camera. So China uh, uh, emitting. Uh, Mm, lots of CO2. So the emission per population of China is a uh, half of USA, but um, uh, per population is sixfold of USA. So China uh, emit very much of very lot, lot of uh, CO2 emission, and China depends on uh, coal. Uh, coal very much. So CO2 emission is 30 percent higher than oil. So now, please for, uh, remark, uh, no sun uh, hemisphere so CO2 concentration becomes decreasing quickly. So she's in the summer. July and August. So, no, almost low, no sun hemisphere CO2 uh, concentration is really low. And the opposite side, uh, southern hemisphere is rather increasing. Why? And now uh, October, so uh, CO2 concentration, concentration is increasing again. The increasing, so this same November, And December, very, very uh, high density at Northern Hemisphere. So, why uh, does uh, CO2 in Northern Hemisphere disappeared in summer? So, please type in, in nearby chat. Don't touch console now. Yes, Mike, yes, plant use of CO2. So, uh, this is due to vegetation, uh, photosynthesis absorbed CO2. So, uh, children can realize how humans are emitting CO2 so much. And also children can realize how vegetation can uh, absorb and affecting for uh, us environment. So uh, do you have any question until now? Oh, so cast, cast, cast the question, how, how long does you have to calculate this thing with your computer? So very easy. I, I use uh, YouTube, uh, 
of NASA. So uh, very quickly, only 10, 10 seconds. So, but maybe NASA Goddard Space Flight Center uh, use compute, supercomputer, uh, uh, choose five, take a long time. I don't know. But the display on Sphere is very easy. So return to, uh, let's return to climate change portal. So, so I I type uh, cellular array in nearby chat. So please come back to uh, climate change portal. Uh, uh, I think so, beautiful and sad. But please. So we need, need to uh, wait until pictures uh, the reading. Can you see around the graph again? Okay, so uh, please go upstairs here, come on. Oh, four. So oh, very severe for my PC. So everyone okay? Can you read uh, graphs again? So. Uh, here is the future prediction and impact. Then, so please look at 
this graph behind me. I, I need to move right. Then, so please uh, rem uh, focus on uh, red arrow here behind me. So this graph shows a uh, temperature prediction for next 18, 85 years. Uh, of course, uh, prediction uh, depend on um, future CO2 emission scenarios. So like this. So, Oh, there are four scenario, R speed 2.6 and RCP 4.5, RCP 6.0 and uh, RCP 8.5. So, and most blue line, no, lower graph is um, uh, most of the variable prediction. So, uh, represent representative concent concentration pathway RCP 2.5. But this scenario, uh, it's please look upper graph, uh, needs considerable effort to realize zero CO2 emission until uh, about 2050. And uh, lead prediction is uncontrolled future, so RCP is 8.5 of upper graph here. Uh, President Trump says uh, this prediction uh, is a fake. Uh, so global warming theory is a fake. I don't know. We can teach children why the theory is gro uh, global warming theory is true because it is impossible for children to read and understand more than a thousand pages of IPCC assessment report. But uh, these are minimum panels to teach how to predict uh, global change. Oh, uh, do you know uh, Lawrence Cause theory or butterfly effect. So please uh, click this this panel behind me. A play button. Yes, yes, strange attractor. Um, click uh, start the button so the button become red and click again. Then so movie will starting. So uh, Lawrence find uh, this strange attractor and so right, right or uh, left is so random, but but the trajectory is focused gradually to point. So maybe you know a single weather forecasting result uh, 
changes largely by slight difference of initial condition. So long range forecast is difficult. But uh, we can indicate the range of possible future by many forecasts uh, calculation. It is said as ensemble forecast. So I show you example. So can you see this panel behind me? Okay. okay, so this is nine months of forecast of El Nino event. X is observation and yellow sick line is ensemble means of 70 models. So there are many lines, four, four, 47, uh, 17, line uh, is each uh, prediction of each model and sick yellow line can you find sick yellow line is uh, ensemble means of 70 models so in almost cases observation and ensemble mean is well coincided uh, except in Super El Nino event in 2015, one uh, of decadal natural variation. But scientists think much model ensemble is useful for uh, 20 years or 50 years long prediction. Yes, George, uh, yes, I sense so, uh, I fold. Okay, so uh, please look at the uh, graph behind me. So, oh, wait a minute, okay. Then, so this, oh, wait a minute, so next, next graph. Yeah. Please look at behind me. So upper graph. Is uh, is stop is uh, radiation forcing. Uh, volcanic of um, so uh, for, this is a volcanic e effect and the middle is solar activity so uh, middle age warm middle age and cool Ice age and uh, lower line is greenhouse gas effect in the past 1250 years. And uh, lower graph, uh, red line 
tenderloin are simulated by multi model, so many models, and gray zone is reconstructed temperature change. So red line and gray zone is almost fitting. It means volcano sun activity and greenhouse gas effects are adequately considered in uh, many models. Then, next uh, graph is so in same condition of uh, uh, these uh, panels. The predictions are estimated by about 40 models in the world. So please look uh, precisely. So red line is so not non-control uh, emission, CO2 emission. And the blue line, you can see blue lines are so controlled uh, CO2 emission. So uh, that, that is uh, why a climate change prediction uh, is uh, adequately estimated. But I don't know how uh, uh, President Trump uh, uh, understand my uh, explanation. Sam? Uh, next. This corner. I said uh, warming is not always a bad thing. So uh, impact for human society and ecosystem by uh, global warming are uh, next question. So uh, upper graph, so the pretty red arrow. So this is future tropical storms. So, by the number of tropical storms uh, decreasing almost around the area. And only this part is the number it will increasing, so ocean. But please uh, look at the lower graph here. So, this is the number of severe tropical storm. So, number of severe storm are increasing near Japan and uh, west coast of North America. And uh, happy to say for another region, so severe storm also decreasing. So uh, already such a tendency, it's so severe storm increasing for Japan is appeared in recent Japan. Um, also, lower graph is the global forest fire increasing at 1.5 degree C warming. So, Australia is increasing very much, and India 
and uh, Brazil, South America. Um, please focus this graph on this chart. Uh, last chart, chart is about ecosystem, ecosystem adaptation. So each crumb, so tree and grass and uh, animals and small animals, monkeys and insect. And so uh, these crumbs is so uh, maximum speed and so average speed across the land of each species. Do you, do you understand? So if uh, weather uh, temperature is rising, so uh, each species will move uh, to uh, reach habitable, uh, suitable habitat. So warming global uh, temperature rise, so uh, each species uh, will move to north. And the horizontal lines blue is okay, so the line shows uh, uh, speed of temperature uh, across uh, la land of each CO2 emission scenario. So uncontrolled uh, scenarios, so speed of temperature is very high. So uh, many species can't uh, adapt. So only uh, RCP 2.6, uh, this is means so 1.5 degree warming scenario. So uh, can uh, uh, only RCP 2.6 can avoid severe extension. So this is a major reason why scientists think uh, global warming of 1.5 degrees C is essential target. So, uh, go to third floor. Here is action for the future. So, so this panel uh, behind me uh, shows a uh, path rate limiting 1.5 degree C warming. So Greta Thunberg uh, talked about this at the United Nations Climate Action Summit in New York on September uh, 2019. So uh, this report is very uh, difficult to read. But Greta is very nice interpretation. So uh, you can understand and uh, read, uh, understand to, for, to by uh, 
watch a YouTube of Greta speech than read uh, IPCC special report on uh, 1.5 degree warming. And uh, lower YouTube is uh, President Trump's statement in 2017 about uh, exit from Paris Accord for climate change. So, uh, watching both speech is very interesting. So please uh, watch later. Then, so last corner, adaptation. So, I'll talk about the uh, relation between climate change and 70 SDGs, so Sustainable Development Goals. So, pink frame, this and this and this. Uh, is so relating with vulnerable countries for nature disasters, natural disasters. So poverty is so derived from so uh, natural disasters often. And so blue, blue frame, This and this is relating with low carbon society. So uh, this uh, is the reason why this portal can be also science basis for uh, sustainable development goals. And so Upper graph. Upper graph is CO2 um, emission per country. So China um, becomes twice uh, than USA. But lower graph. Wait a moment. Yes. Yeah. And the graph is so CO2 emission per population. And so China is half the USA. So uh, last report is uh, Ethiopia. This region is made for demonstration of local society. So, please teleport, last teleport.
So, in this region, um, there are only in, uh, there are not only renewable energy, so wind power generator, but also on water recycling system, on bamboo bicycle, and ecology of food production. But these are not enough for sustainable development or uh, uh, no, no carbon emission. So no carbon society. We need to um, visualize more ideas for sustainable uh, society. Then uh, I finished today's trip. You can walk on by this here. This board, click uh, this board, so uh, you can walk around by this light. And you can uh, get more information. This is so story to tell us. There are uh, several uh, story teller avatars. So, that, that this, this avatar, you can get um, detailed uh, information. So thank you very much, my uh, uh, field tour is finished. Uh, and is there any question? Oh, thank you. I'm glad to hear that.